the regretful princess a long time ago on a stormy day in the palace of Maharaja of Maharashtra a little princess called Garima was born to express their unbridled happiness the king and queen distributed gold silver gems and pearls to the people in their kingdom time passed by and Garima turned six years old one day she made a strange demand to her mother mother I want you to bring me the moon and stars oh my dear Garima have you lost your mind how is it possible for anyone to pluck the stars from the sky the king came out of his room just then ha <laughs> ha don't you fret my darling you want the stars I'll send my minister right now to get them for you at the king's command the minister goes and fetches some paper stars after receiving them princess Garima is thrilled beyond measure thank you thank you father you are the best you never let me down my king your pampering has spoiled her God knows how she will turn out to be in the future <laughs> that's not the case the older she grows the more mature she will turn out to be finally the day arrived when the princess turned 16 and yet there was no noticeable change in her attitude or habits she continued to lash out at the maids and insult them she treated them as if they were inhuman one day a maid came to Garima's room with a bowl of kheer a milky dessert long live the princess the queen has sent this kheer for you she has asked you to consume it while it is still warm all right put it down and leave I'll eat it in a while forgive my insolence but the queen has specifically asked you to eat it now Garima gets offended and throws the kier straight at the maid's face who on earth are you to tell me what to do get out of here on hearing the loud commotion the king and queen enter Garima's room and understand the scenario what is this obnoxious behavior Garima is this how you treat the maid exactly mother she is a maid she can't talk to me in a raised voice listen to me my princess calm down this maid will now be shown the way to the door bravo my king what a great way to teach her right from wrong. If fathers ever were tolerated such indespicable behavior from their daughters, the future of womankind doesn't have any hope left. Oh, come on, mother. Stop being so preachy. Do me a favor and get this maid out of my sight. After this altercation, Garima storms out of the palace in her carriage. To let off some steam, there is a rumbling in the sky. And within minutes, thunder and lightning bring forth a heavy storm. The kingdom is caught in a deluge and the rivers start flooding. The whole kingdom gets battered by this storm. The kingdom is in bad shape because of the storm. I really hope Garima is safe right now. I hope so, too. My poor baby must be stuck somewhere. I'm getting very worried. Ministers, go quickly and search for my princess. Yes, my king. Soldiers, get ready. We have to go find the princess. When the storm subsides, the minister sets out with the soldiers to hunt for Princess Garima. Even after two days, the princess is nowhere to be found. Unsuccessful in their mission, they make their way back to the palace. You came back, minister? Where's my daughter Garima? Is she still upset with us? Forgive me, my queen. We have been unsuccessful in tracing the princess. What do you mean? You couldn't complete a simple task. You don't deserve to be my minister. I will accept whatever punishment you think I deserve. But the plain truth is that the princess is not to be found anywhere. I wonder if she is alive at all. A lot of people have all died because of the floods. Their faces are unidentifiable because of the swollen bodies. After hearing this, the queen faints and falls down. The king starts crying unconsolably. Princess Garima gets swept away in the floods, and the river carries her to the village where her former maid resides, the same one she insulted so terribly. Why is a crowd gathered near the banks of the river? Let me go and see as well. On spotting Princess Garima, the maid instantly recognizes her. Princess, it's me, your maid. Open your eyes, princess. Do you recognize her? Yes, it's our princess Garima. It looks like she has been swept away in the floods and landed up here. But why is she not talking? She seems to have passed out. Once the water is extracted out of her body, she'll come to her senses. Take her to your house. I surely will. Please help me to transport her to my house. The villagers help to transfer the princess to the maid's house. The maid goes to call the local doctor. 
Doctor, please come quickly with me. Our princess is lying unconscious at my house. You have to make her okay no matter what. Uh, yes, my child. I'm, uh, I'm coming with you. Let me grab my medicine. The doctor accompanies the maid to her house and extracts the water from the body of the princess. He also makes the princess consume a plant extract. Don't worry. She will regain consciousness in some time. While we wait, uh, could I have a cup of tea, please? I'll take my leave after that. Yes, of course, Doctor. The maid hands the doctor a cup of tea. Could I say something? Yes, Doctor. You have a golden opportunity here. You can demand as much money as you wish for from the king and the queen. After all, you have saved their darling princess. How can you say something like that? Bite the hand that feeds you. I could never do something like that. Now, if you're done, please leave. The princess comes to her senses and overhears the conversation. She is consumed by regret. What have I done? I've committed a sin by degrading such an honest and sincere girl. The maid turns out to find the princess standing up. Long live the princess! I'm so happy to see that you have recovered now. Please forgive me. I behaved very rudely with you. I put you down. You have saved my life. I can never repay this favor. I merely perform my duty, princess. The king and queen have always been kind to me. Please don't worry about anything. You need to eat food, have your medicines, and rest for a while. You really need the rest. The maid cooked and offered all sorts of food to Garima. Mmm, what yummy food, just like the food cooked by our royal chefs. After her meals and medicines, Princess Garima proceeds to rest. The following day, the maid's neighbor visits her house. I saw you at the jeweler shop yesterday. Buying some jewelry, are we? How can I afford any jewelry? After I was fired from the royal palace, I have not been able to source even two meals in a day. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me. Not really. I did go to the jeweler's shop, but not to buy any jewelry. I had gone to sell my earrings. But what I need made you sell them. Actually, I needed the money to buy food for the princess. She's not used to regular boring food like us, I decided to offer her a variety of dishes. Oh, so that's what it is. Princess Garima overheard this conversation as well. Meanwhile, the king and queen arrive at the maid's house, accompanied by the doctor. You have invited death by kidnapping our princess. Where are you hiding? Show your face. The maid and the princess come outside on hearing the king's voice. Father, you are here. We are ecstatic to see you alive. Thank God the maid has not harmed you in any way. My queen, how can I ever harm our own princess? Be quiet. If the doctor hadn't given us this news in exchange for a reward, we wouldn't have had a clue about the whereabouts of our only child. Calm down, father. The doctor is greedy and not worthy of the praise you have been showering on him. In spite of tempting her, this honest maid did not waver. Not only that, she sold her own jewelry to arrange food for me. Is that the truth, my child? Yes, it is the truth. The only one guilty is this doctor. Today, I... I am truly regretful that I was born a princess. I should have been born in a hut. This is where real moral values exist, among the poor, not in a palace. Forgive me, my child. We are the real ones to blame. Soldiers, arrest the doctor and throw him into the dungeon. I ask for your mercy, my king. I was blinded by greed. Mercy! The doctor gets arrested. Mother, father, the maid will no longer live here in this hut. She will live in the palace with us, just like a family member. As you wish, my dear daughter. It will allow us to express our repentance as well. The four of them lived happily in the palace for a long time to come. The end. If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment!